Pronax Pay Studio is a fast way of creating apps. Let's say you are using Stripe to collect payments for your product and you receive a refund request from your customer. So let's build a Stripe refund app which will fetch customer data from your internal database and use a Stripe connector to process the refund request. So we'll start with a blank app. Uh, we'll add a new screen. So let's select a screen from this templates. So a two column screen will use it. So let's make the screen as a home screen. So now let's fetch a list of customers from the our internal database. So here we already have a customer database connected. So I'll uh, add a query to this. So we'll give a name that customer list. So here we'll select customer tables. Let's run this. Here we'll see a list of all the customers. So let's add uh, limit and offset variables. So it's a number type, a test value, and add one more offset variable. So this will help us to paginate our data. So let's give a test value. So let's use this. So limit and let's add our variable which we have added, offset. So while we are running this, we see our test data gets replaced over here. So the result seems fine. Let's save this. So our query has been added. Uh, now let's so limit is basically uh, we'll use our table grid property and limit parameter and table grid property offset parameter and click on finish. So now we just bind uh, connect this uh, newly created connector with the table grid control. Yeah. Let's click on save. So now we'll uh, go to the properties and just enable pagination and the default value we can give uh, five. So let's preview this. So here you can see our uh, customer list is populated and uh, we are able to paginate the data. Uh, now we can quickly rename the column names and the Stripe customer ID is basically an internal ID. We will just hide that. So let's go over that. So let's rename. So this is anyways, we are hiding it. So let's hide this column and let's see. So now we'll need uh, another table grid control. So in this we'll populate the stripe uh, charges over here based on the customers. So let's add a, another stripe connector. So get all charges. So now the account is already added, but we can add another a new account. So let's give a, another name and API key can be found under developers API key and secret key. So this is a test key, but you can use your uh, production key. So this got added. Let's select the text too. So now at stripe charges we we'll just give a friendly name customer is the customer id we'll get it from table create control dot the stripe customer id uh, let's limit this to 100 and uh, let's finish this so let's add this newly created connector to the table create control so let's save this so now we know this uh, refunded is a boolean type. So let's format this. Let's give a style and color. Similarly for uh, amount as dollars. So let's preview this. So as you can see, the column names have been updated and the Stripe ID is up hidden and the prefix and the uh, refunded status has been shown over here. So now let's uh, delete this uh, control. Let's add a number control for amount and also add uh, 
drop down control for selecting the plan type so we'll move this down so let's add spacer in between okay so let's give a name amount and so now the plan can be either uh, of this values so there are three plans starter enterprise so by default the selected value would be the table grid first table grid dot plan also the amount will be from the charges uh, table so so which is a table grid one amount so it will populate the default value we'll add a button control so let's add our action for this button click so first of all we'll uh, select uh, uh, process the refund request for stripe so let's select initiate refund so we'll select the new account the keyword would be the table grid id which we are selecting so table grid one dot this is the id and amount would be the amount control and reason we can select uh, requested by customer so let's give user friendly name initiate refund on success of uh, initiating a refund we will also like to update our customer database with the updated plan type so i already have a query created uh, where uh, email id is equal to the variable uh, email and uh, we update the plan so let's select this continue so the plan would be from the plan drop down and this would be from the table grid one uh, where we have the user so let's continue and give a name update plan we would also like to show a toast message to the end user that uh, particular uh, uh, transaction has been completed successfully so we'll also so we'll also reset our control so let's select under controls uh, reset control data so let's select table grid Let's do it. So let's see this in action. So here on the left side, we can see a user list showing the corresponding charges along with the formatted information uh, and the status. So also the plan type is being updated accordingly. So for starter, we can see a starter type. So let's initiate a refund request for John. Uh, let's initiate a full refund and let's change the plan from business to starter. So let's click on action uh, Refresh this and uh, if you can see this got refreshed and the plan has been updated to starter also the refunded status has been updated to true so our refund app is uh, complete and uh, you can now go ahead and publish your application and uh, you can either invite users to your organization to access this app or you can make this app public to share with the world so with uh, drone hq studio the choice is ours thank you for watching